right, y'all, good morning. We are here at the Above the Clouds Hostel. Uh, we spent the night here last night after hiking, and we have decided, because of the weather, whew, I'm out of breath, sorry. We're gonna take a zero day and spend the night here. It's supposed to um, snow and possibly get icy. And with our lack of experience and uh, lots of weight we have, we're just gonna take the day off because we don't wanna hurt ourselves. So this is where we're staying. We have uh, this little, let me make sure nobody's in here. We have this little room, pretty much to ourselves. We have one other guy staying in here with us. So Renee and I are here. Uh, you can see our gears kind of spread out all over the place. Uh, it's just a couple of bunk beds on both sides, you know, so uh, cozy. It's not much, but it's nice. It's clean. Uh, we could have uh, possibly stayed in the house. Uh, there's other beds in the house, and I'll show that later uh, once a lot of the hikers leave. I don't, I don't like going through and just, you know, putting the camera in everybody's face. It's just not my style, so... I'll wait for them to leave and then I'll show you some more of the inside of the house. But uh, this gives us opportunity out here. Uh, we have plenty of floor space. We're going to spread our gear out today and go through and get rid of some stuff. Hopefully they have a hiker box here. And uh, yeah, we're just going to do some downsizing. But I don't know if you can see, it's kind of sleeting now a little bit. Snow mix, I guess, already. Uh, they were calling for one to two inches of rain. And with the temperatures dropping, it could easily turn to ice and snow. So this is a really cool place. Uh, I'll take you inside later, um, but I'll give you a little uh, tour over here. Uh, this building here with the mural on it, this used to be a country store. So the guy that bought this hostel and uh, opened it, he bought it in 2019. Uh, this house uh, was the owners of the country store. And it had been in uh, their family, uh, passed down generation to generation since it's been here. So I believe it was uh, early 1900s, he said. Uh, this mural on the side here was done by a through hiker. Um, I can't remember her name. I'll try and get it uh, later so I can pass the information on. But she uh, uh, hiked the AT in 2017. And has been uh, just staying on the AT ever since, I guess, uh, going up and down and uh, painting murals. So very, very cool. Very cool. So anyways, I'll show you more later. Hope you're having a great day. So this is hiker storage area where they can put all their gear while they're here. So it's not uh, in the bunk areas. They can put it right there. They have a nice map here that shows the... Um, the uh, elevations at all the different places. So you can look and see all the elevations. It's really cool. Maine all the way down to Georgia. So kind of hard to believe we're somewhere in here. I don't know exactly where on the map, but we're not very far and we gotta go all that way still. <laughs> Looks like forever. Oh, but I think I, I somebody commented earlier. Um, and I can't remember exactly what the comment was, but basically I said, you know, yeah, it looks like this is going to take forever, but when it's all said and done, it'll seem like it went by so quick and it'll be all gone. So anyways, we're trying to soak it in. Uh, this is a, a resupply food area where you can uh, resupply whatever snacks or energy bars chips drinks all kinds of stuff they have all kinds of stuff here and they have a running tab you just put it on the tab it's on your system and you just uh yeah, whatever you need pizza ice creams i downed a pint of that ben and jerry's last night prepping for the half gallon challenge freezer full of or fridge full of drinks yeah so that is that area. And now we'll go into the kitchen. And 
this is the kitchen area. And the owner of the hostel, Lucky. Hey guys, how how's you it doing? going? <laughs> Rock and roll. We're doing great. He's showing everybody your hostel and how, uh, well, thank how you well you've taken care of everybody here. I appreciate that, man. Yeah. That's awesome. You guys ready for some football? We're ready for some football. Outstanding. We're glad the weather's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'd be hiking right now. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, Lucky's putting on a free Super Bowl party party for us today. Yes. Yeah, yeah all the food, all, all, all the, the stuff. All the food and stuff is included. Yeah. yeah. Such a great guy. High energy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. <laughs> So this is the kitchen area, coffee, microwave, everything you need. Were there only five and then, um, I will film him. Hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, hot chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yeah, hot chocolate. Yep. Yeah. All right. So this is the area inside the bunk rooms. Um, there's a couple of bunks uh, in here. Full curtains for privacy. Uh, there's a couple of bunks here. And some more over here. And we spin around to here. There's a little washroom area. And then uh, laundry services. Um, a full bathroom, shower, which is very welcome <laughs> after hiking. And then some more bunks. And then um, one other bathroom right here. Just a toilet. Oops, sorry. Yeah, so I'll show you the rest of the house later. And I didn't realize there is another bathroom. So there's uh, four toilets all together, I think, if I count it right. So that one, and a shower, another shower. So, place is great, man. If y'all stop here, you won't be disappointed, I promise. Okay, so we're standing here at Above the Cloud Hostel tonight. And we have this uh, nice family room, basically, with this fireplace. Oh. Hi. Hi. And you are? I'm Lane. Lane. And you are from where? Raleigh, North Carolina. Raleigh, North Carolina. And y'all already know Renee. Hey. And we uh, and, and y'all know Renee's a Canadian, so. We have another Canadian here too. Hi, I'm Allison from Montreal, Canada. Yeah, and you have someone following the channel that you're related to. Oh yeah, I think my mom's following. Yeah, yeah. Hi, mom. hi mom. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, just hello from me. Hello I'm from Allison, yeah. David. David. All right, yeah. David. All right. <laughs> Above the clouds, hostel. Great place. Everybody, so we're on our zero day here at the Above the Clouds Hostel. Yeah. Um, great place, as I've said many times already. Yeah. So highly recommend. Uh, it's not very far down the AT, so I don't know. One point three miles. If you're like an experienced, well, no, I mean uh, from from Springer. If you're like oh. an experienced hiker, you may not be ready to stop in a hostel yet. Yeah. Uh, but um, if you just want to stop in and check the place out resupply some snacks or whatever it's a great place great place so um as we all know our packs are too heavy <laughs> and you guys have made so many comments <laughs> which is great um, um we, we really appreciate all of your all's help like we are so thankful for all of you just supporting us and yeah. encouraging us like we're overwhelmed with and the concern yeah. Because a lot of people yeah. are truly concerned that hey, you guys are going to hurt yourself. So yeah. Yeah. Um, we don't. We didn't feel like we were um, so heavy. We we're going to hurt ourselves, but ob obviously, it is more wear and tear on your body. Yeah. So <clears throat> we spent the, the good part of the day, I guess. Yeah. Um, well, this morning, I guess. Spent the good part of this morning. Uh, took <clears throat> our packs completely apart. We did well, well. Before I say that, uh, Lucky, the owner of the hostel, did a gear shakedown on his own pack. Uh, yesterday for all the hikers for everybody mm -hmm. uh, he you know had us all in the room at the fireplace and yeah he took his pack out and showed us exactly what it was I don't remember do you remember his weight 12 pounds or something it, it was something ridiculous it, it was ridiculous like, we're not gonna get there but yeah. whatever <laughs> not yet <laughs> but uh, in the summer yeah but anyways yeah yeah, yeah put, 
pointed out a lot of things that uh, maybe we didn't think about, and plus all your comments uh, mm-hmm. pointed out a lot of things. One other thing on the comments also, if, I, if I'm not responding to a comment you posted, please forgive me. Uh, there's been so many comments, I can't really keep up with them. And for whatever reason, sometimes they're not in the YouTube app, but they're in the YouTube studio app. So I kind of check both to make sure. I don't know why one goes, I don't know. But anyways, if I didn't reply to your comment, it wasn't because uh, I was ignoring it or, or didn't like it or whatever. I just probably didn't see it. So we get our, uh, took all of our gear out, went through. We sent a whole box full of stuff back home. Um, Renee is getting ready for bear can. I'm keeping mine. Mm-hmm. And I know some of you will disagree with that, but... Uh, I like the bear can. It's very convenient. I don't have to worry about hanging it. Um, yeah, it's just very, very convenient. I like it. So, but the good news is it no longer is on the outside of my pack. Everything fits on the inside, including the bear can. Mm-hmm. So, and all of our food is in one bear can. Yeah. And I still have some space. So, yeah. uh, we knew we were carrying too much food. Uh, mm-hmm. We didn't realize how much too much was, but... Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, Lucky did point out, uh, you know, a lot of good information about that. And, and as far as water, we were carrying too much water, mm-hmm. uh, which also adds a lot of weight. And he said, you're hiking from water source to water source is where you're hiking. Yeah. So enough water to get you from one water source to the next. And you fill up and drink the water there and then you're not carrying four, yeah. four liters of water. Yeah. You know, so anyways, um, and also you're only carrying enough food from resupply to resupply. And- um, Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's helped us. Today when we were resupplying our food here at the hostel, we figured out how many meals we had and cause it's two days until we get to Neil's Gap and then, okay, we need this, this and this. And so we only grabbed what we absolutely needed. Yeah. So that was really good. Uh, it's just, they, it feels so good. And also when we had all of that stuff, it's not just the weight physically, it's the weight emotionally and mentally. For when sure. you're trying to unpack and go through all that stuff every night to set up, and then you're having to pack all of that stuff that we had with us back in in the morning. It wears and tears on your brain and fatigues you before you even get going in the morning. And it adds a lot of weight at the end of the day, mentally and emotionally. And so we learned that from ER, he had talked about that. And I remembered that as we were going through this process these last five days. So yeah, so how much did we lose? <laughs> you know, actually, I don't know. You okay. have she, she wrote the numbers down. I don't remember exactly the total, how much we lost, but we did start out. Remember I was at 49.22 and you were at 38. Yeah, 38 pounds. Something. Yeah. So. So Eddie went from 49.22 to 35.65. And that's with all the food and two liters of water, which I won't be carrying two liters of water, so it's actually less than 35. Yeah, because we're just gonna carry one liter, because that's Because the next need. water source is only a mile yeah. and a half or something like that. And I went from 38 pounds to 27 pounds. So yeah, we dropped a lot of weight. We are mailing a 10 pound back box of stuff home Plus, when we get to Neil's Gap, we have a few more items we're getting rid of. Like, I'm getting rid of my bear canister. Um, I'm getting rid of one set of pants. The umbrellas. The umbrellas we're getting rid of. Um, We're actually not going to do the umbrellas. We don't don't like them. We tried them out. Don't like them. Yeah. And, um, oh, we have some summer gear that we have with us. We're going to send that back. So we're even going to be lighter still in two more days. So, woohoo! I feel so lighthearted right now. Like I just feel really, really like, whew. yeah. Like the weight physically and mentally and emotionally was really, really, really heavy. And you know, it's a mental game out there. And so when you have that mental weight, you just there's just not room for it on the AT. The AT is hard, it's awesome, but there's not room for mental weight that doesn't need to be there. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's where we're at. 
And tomorrow we're back on the trail at eight in the morning. So we're really excited to get back out there. It's supposed to be 51 degrees tomorrow. It's been snowing today, but it's, it'll all be gone by tomorrow. So Blood Mountain. We're headed to the bottom of Blood Mountain. The bottom of Blood Mountain tomorrow and then Blood Mountain the next day. So we're excited. Blood Mountain and the Oska. Yeah. And this is an awesome place. The positive, yes. positive, encouraging vibe here is outstanding. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cheers.